What's up YouTube? Alright, so we got our first video request already. I just posted that video this morning and now I've already got a comment. Here, I'm going to pull up this comment right here. I'll show you it. So, here is that video that I posted this morning. Look at my nice face there. And if you scroll down, boom, there's a comment by Alexis Sanchez. Welcome home by Coheed and Cambria. So, boom. We're going to hop right into that right here right now so I already knew how to play this song I didn't have to study at all so I'm gonna teach you first the acoustic part on this part one just because I've got my acoustic guitar out so you're gonna take standard E tuning and you're gonna take it down just one half step so we're gonna be in E flat alright so it's gonna be based in the open E string first you're gonna hit the open low E Alright, I'm going to refer to them as their normal names, E, A, D, G, B, E, not E flat, and all, all that stuff. So here we go, open, low E, and you're going to have your, your E power chord an octave higher ready on the 7th fret, 7th fret A string, and the 9th fret uh, D string, and you're going to strum through after, so it's going to be 1 and So open E, and then open E again, and all all three of the strings and you're gonna do it fast alright and then from there on this ninth fret D string you're gonna slide up to the tenth fret rather quickly so it's gonna be and I up strum that it's just easier for me if a down strum is easier for you that's fine and then you're gonna hit the seventh fret on the G string after that so and then you're gonna walk down on the D string that's 10, 9, 7, and then you're going to hit 7 again, and then 10, 9, 7, and then you're going to go down to the A string, 10, and 9, and you're going to start all over. So this is what how far we've gotten. Now make sure, so I'm going kind of fast here, but the cool thing about YouTube is you can always rewind it, alright? So just rewind it, practice that until you've got it, because that's the basis of the whole song, even the electric part. So here's what we have so far. Alright, now the second time we play through that, we're going to start off the same way, but you're going to end right there on that 7th fret of the D string. So here, I'll play until we stop, so... Okay, and then you're going to come down here, and we're going to be playing two notes at the same time. Now, I don't finger pick them, I just strum them like power chords. Oh. So it's going to be, the first one is 5 on the A string, and 4 on the D, or, yeah, D string. So it's... And then you're going to come up to 9 on the A string and 7 on the D string. So it's... And then keep that same formation right there and go down two frets so that the A string is on the 7th fret and the D string is on the 5th fret. So... And then back to the first chord, 5 and 4, A and D. So... So I'll play that all the way through. Oh. Alright, now one important thing to remember is to palm mute. So this whole acoustic thing, you're going to put your palm, I put it up against the, this is called the saddle or the, the bridge. So I put it all up against the saddle, this white part, and I just rest it right on top the whole time I play this song. So my hand is always touching the strings to make them a little bit quieter to get that, that coheed or acoustic sound at the beginning of this song. So... Alright, there we go. So that's the first part and I assume there will be three parts to this song. The second part and the third part will be electric. And um, once you learn this... 
a lot of the song is based around that. You can figure out the guitar part. Now, before you move on to the second part of this, learn how to do a pinch harmonic. Now, I don't have a video uh, of how to teach you how to do a pinch harmonic, but there are many of them out there. And it definitely, needs, uh, definitely takes some practice. So uh, learn that before you go on to part two because that's a crucial part of Coheed and Cambria. All right, thank you very much.